even. I mean, why won't he just say Brooke's not hot? Because he doesn't know how to lie. <laughs> He's an orphan. He never had a mother to teach him how. <laughs> I mean, how do I know he loves me if he doesn't obey me? <laughs> well, you've chosen a strong man, Jackie, and they don't always obey. Now, do I think he should have said that other girl wasn't pretty? Yes, but you have to pick your battles. Wait, no, I want to be right all the time. <laughs> and you will be. After a few years, they just, they give up. <laughs> okay, what? Red, could you go to the drugstore and get me a ladies' home journal? But I just... It's all frosty. <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, Steven, I think I figured out a way to win this situation where everybody wins. Now, listen to this question carefully. Is there anyone you said was hot, like Brooke, who you really don't think is hot, like Brooke? Well, I could lie and say yes. Then do it. I don't care if you don't mean it. It's the words that count. <laughs> Jackie, I'm not going to lie. Fine. Then you know what? I don't know how to fix this. Pick your battles. Fine. Steven, I don't care if you think she's hot, because that's how you really feel. Thank you. Hey, Steven, will you go to the drugstore and get me a Vogue magazine? But I just... It's gonna melt. Hey, you see this? That's a Playboy. And inside are things beyond your wildest dreams, magical, glorious things. So if I toss it on your book and you check it out for me, I'll let you have a look-see. What do you say? You're pathetic. Just go buy Playboy, you loser. Loser? Hey, I'm not the one reading Hardy Boys. For your information, the stolen money was hidden in the grandfather clock, huh? Who's the loser now? 